It's gonna be dope. Should be good. I hope. Hopefully. I mean, I know what's in it. Shit, I shouldn't have said that. I'm gonna expose you. Seth opens up his packages before he films the YouTube video. Only and the acts, big ones. He acts better. surprised. You open up the small package today too, Seth. You gotta focus on what's real, man. <laughs> Everyone, we are back again. It's the same day, so yes, I'm wearing the same clothes. Roast me if you want to down in the comment section below. It has started to snow in New York. I'm not a fan of this in the slightest. Now, I wasn't even going to continue vlogging today. We did the Yeezy vlog, and that was going to be it. There wasn't going to be an upload tomorrow, but then something happened. I looked on my YouTube app, and I looked on Twitter and Instagram, and I started seeing a whole bunch of comments asking what I was going to do to Kais. And I was really confused. I was like, what do you mean, what am I gonna do to Kais? Like, do you guys want me to beat him up or get in a charity boxing match with him or something? Something better even happened. Something better even happened? Something better even happened. Does that, that, that doesn't make sense. Something even better happened. Apparently, I've just found out via you lovely people that I'm playing Kais in the Sneaker Con Basketball 3-on-3 three -three tournament, which may be the greatest opportunity of my life to embarrass a short, chubby 30-year-old man. To be fair, I haven't had many opportunities in my life to embarrass short, chubby 30-year-old men, so take that for what you will. Now, I'm not 100% sure that this is actually confirmed because the only people I've heard it from is you guys, and then also Kai said it on his vlog, but I've heard nothing from SneakerCon. Eight hours ago, I didn't think I was even playing in the SneakerCon 3-on-3 tournament, but if I get a chance to play Kais, I'm taking it. For you guys that don't know the backstory behind me and Kais, we do not like each other, apparently, so I've been told. I made a video politely disagreeing with him back in September and he took that the wrong way. In fact, he took it like a child and got super mad at me. I tried to apologize when I heard he was upset. He refused to shake my hand, he called me a pussy and then made a video crying about how I somehow did something wrong. Some people have told me to behave more politically and not get in another argument with them by saying this stuff on camera, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys, and I have a chance to play him in a game of three-on-three -three basketball, apparently. I am going to take that opportunity. I'm excited, I'm excited. I have no real problems with the man. I think he's a little bit immature, I think he's a little bit sensitive, and I think he's a little bit of a goof sometimes, but I don't think he's a bad person. One of my biggest faults as a person is once I know that someone has been annoyed by something I do, I just want to annoy them more and more and more. So Kais, I have no fundamental problem with you as a human, but we're gonna have a fun game of basketball. Realistically, I'm probably gonna lose. I haven't touched the basketball in a month. I'm skinny, white, awkward, uncoordinated, unathletic. I have no hopes of winning, especially since Name Brand is my teammate. The one thing I would like to do though, one thing, I just want to backboard Kais, like swat him really, really good, and that will make my day. From Sneakerfield was super nice and let me use his office to edit and upload the vlog that you guys hopefully saw yesterday. And I'm sitting here in this office looking at the, the freaking amount of use, these like 20, 30 pairs of Yeezys here. This is the best office I've ever seen in my life. Yeezys, Yeezys. Oh, these ones are my size. What color is this? Core white Yeezys. I might need to steal those ones. Says 10 and a half, 10 and a half, 10 and a half, 10 and a half, 10 and a half. Okay, thankfully, Joe, I'm only stealing one pair, but like, you have 25 pairs of Yeezys in your office. I need to up my game. Yo, you have a really cool office. What's up, dude? What's up? How you doing, man? I'm good. I met up with Seth, of course, the New York City legend. You got a ridiculous package in the mail today, which you guys need to go check out, so check out his channel. Yeah. See what he got in the mail today. That should be up by the time this video goes live. We don't really have anything too crazy planned right now. Some of the guys are still getting in. I think a lot of flights are delayed because it's snowing so heavy today. So Seth and I are just gonna go check out some sneaker stores, probably just Adidas, Spring Street, maybe Rare Pair, stuff like that. We'll see what we see, and I'll show you guys too. So look what we have sitting in freaking Adidas, the Calabasas, the Yeezys. They released an entire week ago. Are still sitting here. Seth, this is crazy, I don't huh? Like that. Yeah. I'm gonna buy a pair. You're buying a pair? I'm doing it. Are you? Yeah. Really? Thank you so much. Why are you buying a pair? I'm gonna try them on. Because I want to. I like them. Oh, it's super thin leather. It's like paper. 
Like, I, I would not be surprised if that ripped on you. You're not getting them? I'm not getting them. Make up your mind. You just told the viewers you were getting them. I really thought I was, and I tried them on, and I was Stop like, Stop yeah. clickbaiting us, huh? <laughs> Looking at the case of all the Yeezys, the Yeezys, the Yeezys, the Yeezys, the Yeezys, the, the Calabasas, sitting at Adidas, sitting here too, albeit this is a consignment store, so not really a relevant statement. Wow, okay, this is one of my favorite shoes that Nike has put out in the past three years, which is saying something, because Nike has not really made a lot of decent shoes. This one is amazing. The Chinese foam posits, I think these are called like the Tang Jang or the, the Shuang Zun or something like that. Pardon my complete racism there. The Tang Jing, these are a weird mix of very gaudy because of how bright they are, but also so dope just because they're so different. I would 100% rock these. I was really bummed out when I found they were an A's exclusive when they originally released because I was going to get these. Uh, finding a pair for size 12 that's not a ridiculous price is pretty much impossible, so I don't think I will ever have these in my collection. But a kid can dream. If you guys have these in a size 12 and you want to send them to me for retail, I will PayPal you that money ASAP. Look what rare pair got in. Of course, we were taking a look at these yesterday. I already scooped up my pair. These, oh, they also got chicken. They got Yeezys and they got chicken. You guys decide which one's better in the comment section. These are so freaking fresh. I'm excited to see these at SneakerCon tomorrow, see people rocking them. I want to see what they look like on feet. I'm just super happy I was able to grab my pair of these. Like, it's a really, really nice pair of shoes. I was able to get them early, share a video with you guys of all that good stuff. And then over here, this is such a slept on pair of Jordans. Such a slept on pair of Jordans, the Anthracite Nines. They look exactly like the Oregons, except there's no O on the back. So as a result, no one likes them. I got these on release day at the Mall of America. And I love them so much. This is a grade school pair, so the quality is crappy on these, except the men's quality is so good. The suede is super, super nice on them. Really nice pair of kicks. Because that's, that's the whole thing. It's gonna, it's gonna be called Tales from the Rari. People are saying that, you know, if it was a sketcher, you know, no one would buy it. Um, and that it's Of course. Always... But you could be say that if this is a sketcher, no one would buy it. If this is a sketcher, no one would buy it. If any of these shoes are sketchers, no one would buy it. So that's not a fair statement. What I'm saying is that this colorway is trash and it's all hype. That's all it is. No, this colorway is not trash, dude. It's 100%. No, it's not. What the fuck is this? Stop swearing on my channel, you're gonna get me demonetized. So that was Rare Pair as always. Thank you guys, have a good one. Shout out to Rare Pair, they are the best. It is still snowing. Seth and I are taking an Uber back to his place. He has a massive package, as I said, from Jordan Brand that he can't even fit on the subway. Yes. So unfortunately, we need to Uber to his place. I left my suitcase at Seth's place, so I'm gonna go grab that too. <laughs> No, you're going to be exposed. Seth is filming a video with my lens because he has this giant box from Jordan Brand that this lens doesn't fit because it's too tight. Yep. This is, actually, this is really nice. It's a really nice lens. I should get this lens. It's a great lens. It Not only... for vlogging. Like, it's too tight for no, vlogging. No, I use it for but... the studio stuff. It's, I only have one. I have other lenses, but the other lenses suck, so I use it for everything. What's up, everybody? I'm Seth Fowler, and today I got a crazy package in. I'm not sure. I, fuck, I can't say that because now you're going to expose me. You're such a hype beast, dude. I mean. Look at this you know. collection. You're such a hype beast. You have off whites. You have. Okay, these are dad shoes. Don't tell me you actually like these, dude. You, you like actually... the Yebras. Yeah, the, the Yebras are sick. This is a dad shoe. This is different. And then you have Yeezys, and then I guarantee you these are all like stupid collab ultra boots. No, this is this is 4.0, 4.0. Oh, well, this is laceless, 4.0, 4.0. Which laceless ones do you the have? The white ones are crap. They're the white cool. ones are awesome. You're a hype beast. Not Lauren Becker, Chicago's, Red 11's you got for free from Jordan Brand. I am so freaking jealous. Yeah, that's cool. Off white ones. The you're telling me you actually walked into Kith and they're okay, just sitting here? I need to clear the air. First of all, I'm not backdoored by Kith. They don't backdoor anyone, at least that I know of. I literally just. You, I you're saying they don't backdoor Ronnie Fike? Well, of course I back to him. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Obviously, you guys know what I'm talking about. I work right next to Kith, like really, really close. So I go every day at lunch, and of course, if you go every day, you're gonna find crazy steals. And nah, nah. I think they're backdooring pairs to you. Yo, can I show you something? Yeah, everyone, yeah. Everyone, 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 fucking made a comment about Stop this. Stop swearing in my videos. You're gonna get me demonetized. How many people tagged me in that picture? A bunch. How much did you pay for them? Uh. Let's see. Actually, no, you're not gonna believe. You're not gonna believe this. You are not gonna believe Wait, this. Did you get it for free? Yes. No, you didn't. I swear to God. No, you didn't. How did you get them for free? Because they emailed me and said we weren't able to fulfill your order. We're gonna refund you. And, and they, they still showed up. They showed up before they even emailed me that. I got them and they're like, we didn't, we couldn't fulfill your order. And then they refunded. You got me. them for free? I got them for free. <laughs> How much did I pay for them again? 
Maybe 900. To be fair though, they're not exact. I thought they were gonna be a size nine. They came in in a size nine and a half. So I mean that's. Yeah, but you I didn't get them for free. free. I paid nine hundred dollars for these top three ones. Stop making fun of me in the comments, okay? I can hear the keyboards clicking. Stop type. Stop typing right now. I completely forgot I got it for free. That's hilarious. You got these for free? Yeah. How'd you not make a video about these called "Scamming Kith Gone Wrong in the Hood" or something? Because because it was end first of all, and second of all, I felt really bad about it. And I was actually considering emailing them. End is in like, England. They're never gonna find you, dude. Scamming end gone wrong in the hood. Well, what if they want to sponsor me or something? Then I'm gonna be like, oh, remember that time I stole shoes? From you? All right, Seth. You Thank you for showing me around the sneaker room. Oh, definitely, man. I'll sure. see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. What's up, Brandon? What's up, Dad? How you doing? I made it over to the hotel. Brandon made it over to New York. I heard Back your flight got delayed. Yeah, yeah. Horrible day. Please don't destroy these ones. I want to hear what you think of these. We did yesterday's videos all about what people thought of these. I have never seen these yet. These are my first time seeing... Oh, my God. This is honestly my favorite Yeezy I've ever seen. <laughs> At least in pictures. These are unreal, man. You like them? Do you really do you like them? I really like them. Yeah. Like these are my favorite. These my first time. This is my favorite. These don't come out for another like twelve hours now. Probably. Yeah, yeah. These are early. That's an early gang. No, these are amazing. And like the translucent blue on here. I actually I'm gonna have a hard time rocking these or wrecking them. I guess. You happy with that purchase? I'm ha very happy with yeah. the purchase. Well, where would you scale these as in terms? Of I'd say this is my favorite Yeezy release of 2017. I like the zebras better. Fair. And I like the chocolate 750s better. Yeah. But besides that, this is my favorite Yeezy. I think that's fair. And it's crazy how these are the ones that are like released the most too. Oh, so I haven't slept in a bed in 48 hours. Sneaker con is tomorrow. It's what time? Is it? Oh no, it's one in the morning. Brandon, it's one in the morning already. Yeah. We need to get some sleep ASAP because I need to wake up early. I still need to edit. I'm sleeping three hours today and then I'm expected to play basketball tomorrow. This is not going to go well. Brandon, can I get some advice from you? Yeah. Tomorrow I'm expected to play basketball against a chubby short dude. Do you have any advice? I'm sort of intimidated. Kick him in the balls. Whoa. These are really nice. I'm excited for sneaker con. I'm excited to play Kais. Like at the end of the day, it's all fun and games. I'm being a dick to him today because I want to amp up the rivalry. As I said, I don't think he's a bad person. I just think he's a little bit sensitive sometimes. Guys, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Seth, you're awesome. Joe, you're awesome. Name brand, you're awesome. Everyone else that featured in today's vlog is an awesome human individual. Guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you very, very soon. Tomorrow, in fact. So make sure to tune in. I'll see you guys then. So until then, peace.